I don't know if anybody else is going to come back. <laughs> oh dear, that was a total disaster. So, um, thank you, Rebecca, for telling me what I should do so that and I'll have to go on catch and delete that. So, hey, Janet. <laughs> Hello again, Holly. So sorry. So very sorry. Okay, so get me organized. Organization is my happy place. And if I'm not organized, I feel crazy. Crazy. Okay, so your heart color's better this time. Well, I'm glad, Kate. That's awesome. I was confused. Uh, Rebecca, you didn't mess me up. You're trying to give me some tips so I can do better. I appreciate the tips. So if anybody else has any tips for me on how to get better, please share those with me because I was talking with my friend Kate Venison for dinner. I'm not sure if she hopped back on or not, but last night she was saying, I never hear you do the spit suck thing. And I said, I hear myself every time it comes out and I want to, and I can't believe I've done it, but I can't stop myself. So there you go. So my name is Stacy from stacymakesense.com and today we're going to talk about organization so that you won't lose your mind. The first point that we'd like to go over today is the fact that different times in your life are going to need different organizational schedules. So what I'm using right now is not the same thing I used when I had one child. It's not the same thing that I even used six months ago. So, oh, well, I'm glad that I have some organization junkies here too. So what you need for organization is going to vary based on your life, the age of your kids, how busy you are, if your house is in a remodeling state. So even six months ago, what I was using, I'm not using right now. Right now, I'm using a system that just keeps me from going nuts, okay? So let's just be honest. If I don't know what I need to do, I don't get anything done. I don't get anything done if I don't know what I need to do. So how can we write down and keep track of what we need to do? So my first system is one that I've used since college and it's actually just to keep a daily planner. And I don't use daily planners like most people do. I tried to use a digital planner because my husband wanted me to do it. He liked to be able to see what I had on my calendar. So now I'm actually kind of trying to do a digital and a paper calendar because I'm a paper girl. I'm paper all the way. So, I I just like, pay, I, when I can put down a paper notebook in front of me and look at everything, I feel more organized than if I have everything on my phone or on my computer. I just can't keep things organized on my computer. So, I have, and this is an 8.5 by 11, so it's the size of a full sheet of paper. And I buy big ones because I don't like the half size. I want, when I open up, I want to see... Let me show you. I want to see the whole, I want to see this whole thing, this whole month. I don't want to have to, what day is it today? I, I can't, I can't see. And I don't have any space in that little box to write what I need to do. Ain't nobody got time for that. I need a big calendar, like for people who need magnifying glasses. That's what kind of calendar I need. So I've used this same calendar for several years and they run the school year because it's actually a college calendar. So it doesn't run January to December. It starts, I think, in July and then runs around till the next August. And that's that's just the way I like it. That's how I've always thought since college. And this is just my favorite one. It's on Amazon um, right here. I've got 20, and it's, it's, it's not gonna, some planners that you can buy are a zillion dollars. But this is a brown line if you want to get a screenshot. Very affordable off Amazon. And it's just the one that I always use because it's affordable and it it's just, it's big. <laughs> so this is the one I recommend anytime somebody says, what kind of planner should I buy? Now I have a few friends who are really into the planner thing. You know when you can get those big fancy customized planners that cost a lot of money with like stickers and washi tape and all of that kind of scrapbook stuff, that kind of makes me want to cry because if I don't have time to even print pictures off my camera of my children, I probably don't have time to sit down and organize my planner for the year with washi tape. But I have some friends that are really into that. If that's what you're really into, you probably wouldn't like this brown line simple planner for people who need magnifying glasses. So I just need something that I can look at and I can write in the box, the box is big enough to write two or three things, 
And I like washi too, but I don't use it for what you're supposed to use it for. I just use it for random stuff. And also, this, because it's so big, I don't, I don't have a diary or a journal. I probably should. But y'all nifty thrifty lay right down there. She's the one I was talking about who has the planner. She's got planner love, you guys. She has planner love. I don't have the planner love except this one. I like to also be able to keep track of things that are going on in our life. So, like when Annie lost her first tooth, I wrote in here on the calendar what day she lost her first tooth. Or when we have something big happen, like my, my dad is a pastor, and whenever he got his license, I wrote that down on the day that that happened. And... Don't have time for you. Okay, so this has become my diary of sorts. So when I'm done for the year, I don't throw the, what, this calendar away. I fold it up and I put it in my memory keepsake box in the closet. And so then later on, if I'm like, I can't remember when such and such happened, I can just pull these out and flip through real quick. And I've been able to write everything down. So this has become a diary of sorts for me as well. So this is the first thing that I'm always making sure to use. So, now... What I used to use is the Confident Mom Planner. Now, the reason I use the Confident Mom Planner, let's be real here, it was free, okay? I am, I'm just not gonna pay lots of money for planners. I'm just not. <laughs> I'm really not. Um, so, I like free things. Now, this Confident Mom Planner you get for free for signing up for her emails, and it's almost actually done for the year. But, I mean, she'll put out another one because she does one every single year. So, this is kind of what it looks like. And this is one This is one week's worth right here. So, um, and it's got, I'll put the link at stacymakesense.com slash scope. I'll show you guys that in a second. It's got down here a place for to put your menu plan for the week. And then over here, it's got weekly tasks. And she fills it in for you, but she gives you the option of printing this one that's filled in already or giving you a total blank one where you can fill your own in. But I like this because she would give you weekly tasks to do that sometimes wouldn't even enter my mind, like wash your makeup brushes. Wow, what, people are supposed to, are you, are you supposed to do that? Or uh, clean your hair brushes. You mean, I'm not just supposed to, Throw that away when it gets gross and buy a new one? Apparently not. But this here keeps me in line. Tells me what I need to do. And then each day has its own tasks, which you can mark off. And I'm not sure about you guys, but checking and marking things off is my happy place. When I can... And sometimes I just write things down just so I can mark them off. Even if I've already done it. Just because I want to... I just want to check it off. It just makes me... It's happiness. Have I used the Motivated Mom? No, I've just used this one. Um, now, it is color, so it's a bit pricey to print in color, but you could just still just print it in black and white. But my husband's work has a print shop where I can get things printed a little cheaper, so I just went ahead and got it printed in color. But you can get this for free, and there's one page for every week, and that's by signing up for her emails. So, what's this checklist? It is from the Confident Mom. See right there up in the top? The Confident Mom. And I'll put that link in the show notes so you guys can go click on that. Like I said, it's almost over for this year, but you would still be able to. She should, I mean, she puts it out every year, so you'd be able to get the one for next year. I was using this, and I'm not currently using it. So, you use Motivated Mom on my phone. I don't do anything on my phone. Somebody asked me the other day, do you have the blah, blah, blah app on your phone? No. My phone's for texting taking pictures, Instagram, Periscope. That's about it right there. Um, she puts it out before Thanksgiving. The, the confident mom or the motivated mom? I like this one, but I'm not using it right now because our we've been remodeling the house and doing KonMari since um, April. Phone calls? No. I don't call people. I'm the, t I'm the person that will text you and... Or you will call me, and I won't answer, and then I'll text you back as soon as, it, as the phone hangs up. I miss, don't call me. If you need me, you can send me a text message. If it's an emergency, like my family doesn't call me. If my family calls me on my phone, I'm like, oh my gosh, somebody has died. <gasps> Pick up the phone, somebody's dead. They just know not to call me. They send me a text message. I just, I don't. 
I don't. I just don't like the foam. But you scope, yes. I am an introvert who is very good at being a blogger and a YouTuber, and I don't mind being on television, and I do public speaking, but I'm okay when I'm in front of people, but telephone is another thing. <laughs> Woo! Okay, so I don't use this right now because we've been in remodel and Clonmari mode since April, and so the checkoff list and the daily things to do on here were overwhelming me, and so then... I felt like I wasn't, since I wasn't able to get everything done on here, it was stressing me out. So it wasn't working for me currently because I didn't want to do what somebody else was telling me to do, even though, you know, six months earlier that was working really good for me. I wanted to be able to plan, this is what I need to do. So, my awesome friend Nikki, um, she's not on Periscope. Poor Nikki. I'm trying to, I should try to get her on here, shouldn't I? So, I found, she told me about this. Now, this is the Daily Docket. If you follow me on Instagram, I'm Stacey Makes Sense there, too. Um, I post my Daily Docket a lot. And this is a free printable that you can get on her website. So, we have Screenshot Time. The Confident Mom is where you can get the free plan, the planner. And the Art of Simple, which um, that's from Tish. That's her name, Tish. She has... A section at the top like headings so if you click on the headings for printables you'll find this printable daily docket and it's what I'm using right now and it's rocking my face off so the daily docket rocks my face off and it's from the art of simple right here on the bottom and that's a blog both these are blogs so this daily docket gives me um, it doesn't make me feel overwhelmed because I can put down I'm trying to get another copy so I can Oh, give you an example. Does anybody else lick their finger when they're trying to get? I like big ones, Rebecca. <laughs> a lot of times I'll turn it over and print another one on the back of my paper. So, um, she has lots of cool printables. I would definitely go to the Art of Simple under her printables tab. She has so many awesome printables. And printables, they're my love language along with food. So, the well-planned day. I have a lot of friends who use the well-planned day and really like it. So, this right here, right here. She's got most important things. Guess how many is on there? You need the brown line plan. And yes, because the brown line, well, I'm not using the confident mom. The brown line planner is just a calendar where I can keep track of events, places we have to go, things that we've had to do. And then I'm able to look at my planner, my calendar, and know what needs to go on my planner. Because where can you find these? Woo. The confident mom is where you can get the yearly printable, and then the Art of Simple is where you can get the daily docket, which is what I'm using right now, um, because I'm able to fill it in by myself. And it's just working better for me in our life right now. So at the top, there's today's most important things. There's only three things there. How many of us cannot say that you can't get three things done during the day. Now, some days I might make up and think, oh my gosh, I'm, I don't feel good and I'm in my fat pants and I just don't want to do anything. I can still get three things done, okay? You can get three things done, stop your whining, put them on your list, and then check them off and be in the happy place, okay? So three things. And then over here, we've got uh, inspiration, motivation, and encouragement. And this is usually where I put a little thought from my morning devotion, and then I get to look at that all day long. So I put a little thought from my morning devotion right here, and then I ponder on that. And then um, right here, you can mark off how much water you've drank, and then how will you take care of yourself today? Mine usually says something along the lines of shave. I try to put that on there at least once a week. Shave. Because if I don't, if you don't write it down, Michael Hyatt says, if you don't write it down, it doesn't happen. So, ladies, shave. Write it down. Make it happen. And then over here, what's for dinner and what else do I need to cook? So, here's your meal plan. And then what do I need to cook? So, then down here is your daily docket. Sorry, I'm working backwards. And this is where I write down kind of what we do for the day. And I don't give exact times. I just give kind of a general, a general frame. Like, start school at 9. If we start school at 9.15, the world's not going to come to an end. What is this shaving thing? That's why it has to go down on the list. If you don't write it down, it's not going to happen. There you go. Okay, let's just, that's something that women are just afraid to talk about is shaving. I've never met a woman who was like, yay, it's shaving time. I get to shave. Okay, now, 
daily docket, you can write down what you want to do about what time. It kind of gives you an idea of how your day needs to be scheduled. So that's there. And then over here, work details. This works for me because I'm a work at home mom. So this is where I can keep track of exactly what I need to do for the day. If you don't, uh, you shave every morning. Jen, I knew there was going to be someone who said, I shave every day. Some days, I don't even take a bath. You can, you can get off the scope now. That's okay. Um, now, down here on the bottom, sometime this week, and what do I need to do tomorrow? And then something down here for just notes. Like, if you need to make a note, like, I need to tell Barry I shaved. I'll make that note down here in the bottom. That's just something I should feel like I need to tell him. I shaved today, honey. And then... So then sometimes this week and tomorrow, tomorrow is where I like to write down what I'm thinking about what we're having tomorrow for to eat if I'm not in, if I'm not meal planning or I can write down over here in the sometime this week meat that I need to thaw. So I don't like to thaw my meat in the microwave. I have to sometimes. I really just don't like doing it for some reason. It gives me, it gives me the weird heebie-jeebies. Do you feel, I feel it out the morning of, but during the day. If not written down, it didn't happen. Mm. Okay, this printable is found at The Art of Simple. And um, it's black and white. So it's it's pretty cheap. And then I'll print it on this side. And then I flip it over and I use the back too. Or sometimes I use the back for show notes. And then I like to keep track of what meat I need to thaw. Or what else is happening on the rest of the week. Art of Simple. Thank you very much, Rebecca. So, that's what I'm currently using right now. So, I'm using this. And I'm using this brown line planner from Amazon. And that's how I'm keeping sane right now. And the Confident Mom and this one are both free. And I believe I paid $13 for my yearly brown line planner, which is very... I mean, that's very reasonable, especially for a planner. And since it's, you know, it's the big one, so it's not a little teeny one, I can see everything. So, that's what keeps me sane right now. Who knows, in maybe a month I'll have to do another scope about what's keeping me sane in December. So, that's what's keeping me sane right now. So, if you have any questions, I can take those. And if you were just on here for the meat of the scope, sorry I blabbed for so long. But you can get off now if you need to go somewhere and, you know, shave. Now's the time to do it. Now, you can get my show notes at stacymakesense.com slash scope. And my shout out love today goes to Amira. Amira, if you're still here, pop up and say hello. She's, she blogs at Four Hats and Frugal. Sanity in December, absolutely. We have a very sane December. Gotta go shave. See you later. Have fun shaving. Okay, Amira Martin. Now you can go ahead and get a screenshot. I'm not sure if she's still here. If you are, Amira, please hop, pop up. So, she blogs at Four Hats and Frugal. So, she's one of my frugal sisters. And she just makes, she makes me want to have a dance party. Except I'm a white country girl who can't really go to a dance party. There she is. So, if you just click on a mirror right now, then you can hit click and follow. So, she blogs about all sorts of frugal stuff. And she's also on TV. I know somebody famous. You can have my autograph if you want because I know somebody famous. She knows Tyra Banks, you guys. She knows Tyra Banks. Amira Martin. Screenshot this baby. And she'll pop up one more time. Then all you have to do is click on her name and follow her right now. And I really love that feature, especially when I can just... Oh, here you are spamming me. Click. See you later. So. That's where I'll put the show notes with the links if you want it. No, you're the best. You're the best. That makes me feel so middle school. So sorry, everyone that had to just go through that. So, she's awesome. And she blogs, uh, she uh, scopes in the morning, she said. And she's going to start doing two for holidays. Off subject, we're going to try your spaghetti. Any tips on making it? Don't eat it all in one sitting. That's my biggest tip. So, smells rich. I'm sure she does. So, we really like that. My only tip is don't eat it all. <laughs> uh, because, yes. Um, what's the topic? She's a frugal blogger, so she blogs about frugal things, and she's going to be having some free printables coming up because 
we all love the free printables and she's going to have some so make sure you follow her and that's all I have for you today I have no idea how long I've been talking I feel like I've been talking for two years I really got to get this talking thing under control so hop on over to the art of simple and the confident mom if you don't feel like doing that right now because I totally get it that's what she was on that's what Amira was on I don't have cable I've never seen it but that's what she was on so go here stacymakesense.com slash scope I will put the links for these which is just easier most of the time so you can just click on that and go um on what I don't know what you're asking love mom boutique on what so um yes and the, the this just makes your life so much better as always what show is she on fab life with tyra banks i don't think it's been on yet so amira um hop up and let me know oh wait you said in your scope when it was going to be didn't you say it was going to come on next week i think that's what she said Yes, for Periscope notes. And I will also put a link to 4 frugalcom just for you guys. Um, because it's 4 hats and frugal dance party. What tool do you use to make printable? I use my printer. If this is a technical question, all technical questions should be addressed to Barry at StacyMakesSense.com under the con contact form because... I don't know anything about apps or programs or I when someone oh when she's designing one all designing questions should be directed to Barry at StacyMakesSense.com under the contact tab because I have no idea if I want to make a printable I write it all up and I give it to Barry and he makes it and people are always saying, Stacy, how do you do blah, blah, blah? And I'm like, let me ask Barry. I'll get back to you. So, Barry at StacyMakesSense.com is his email address. <laughs> hey, honey, you're going to get some emails. And no, for real, Barry, B-A-R-R-Y at StacyMakesSense.com. If you email him, he'll answer anything you want to know about that kind of stuff. So, that's just what he does. And if you say, Stacy said to ask you, oh, hello, Lindsay. Stacy said to ask you, he understands that. He'll just go with it. He's used to that. <laughs> poor, poor, poor man. So, there you go. Acquire a berry. Absolutely, except he's mine and you can't have him. And I'm not sure what I did before I was married. I'm just really not. So, you guys have a good day. If there's something that you'd like me to talk about tomorrow, please let me know. You can contact me at Stacy, S-T-A-C-Y, at StacyMakesSense.com. And that's sense with a C, as in cash. And um, I'll respond anytime. I would just like to know what you guys would like to hear about. Because apparently, for some reason, people find me interesting and hilarious. And my kids just never laugh at me. So I'm still trying to figure that one out. Okay, so... I will go put these links up for you right now, and you guys, chocolate extract. No, Melissa, I'm not going to blog about, um, uh, scope about chocolate extract because I haven't tried it yet, and it might taste like butt, and if it does, I don't want to put that out on the internet for all of eternity. So, we'll just have to wait and see how that turns out. So, you guys, I've said this a million times. I'm Stacy from Stacy Makes Sense, and I'm logging out today, and I'll be back tomorrow, and I'll try not to talk, like, for 40 days. I will try not to talk for 40 days. So sorry. So I'm so sorry. Okay. Go follow Amira. Amira Martin. She'll make you laugh and have a dance party. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. And I have absolutely no accent. So I don't know what you're talking about. I don't have an accent. Okay. Have a good day. And I'll see you tomorrow. And I'm really, I'm really shutting up now. I really am.